Hi everyone, I'm Laura. And I'm Eva, and we are both family mediators who work as a team helping families through the process of divorce and separation. I have a background in mental health and a master's of laws in dispute resolution. And I'm a family lawyer. And we incorporate these additional backgrounds into the style of mediation we practice, which is called co-mediation. This podcast is called Love, Divorce, and Everything in Between. And this particular video shorts editions will be focusing on divorce and separation. very sore sore spot for many do i divide my pension during a separation or or divorce and uh, i'm going to direct this right at eva so eva (laughs) eva do they divide their pensions sure so it's definitely a complex area and i encourage anybody who's going through separation divorce to make sure you're working with professionals in this area because a lot of people don't know the complexity so number one the law treats Um, families who are not legally married versus families who are legally married differently. So as Laura knows, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this, common law couples do not have the automatic right to split a pension. There is no property division. There are some loopholes and some exceptions to that rule. But generally, if you are common law, you are not legally married, there is no division. That is different for our married friends. Um, Our married couples, there is an automatic assumption that everything, all of your property gets divided. But Laura, you and I both know it gets a little different in the mediation process. Can we maybe talk about how, what families have, different choices they have in the mediation? Of course. Uh, So needless to say, the pension is one of those items, one of those property items that gets divided if you're legally married. It gets all in the same pot and minuses the debts and then that, that gets divided. Pension, it is a very sore spot because, you know, lots of families and we understand that, have you know, think that they've accumulated, they worked really hard, you know, individually um, and they have uh, accumulated that pension. So therefore deserving of it when they retire. Um, similarly, on the other side of the coin, the spouse of that person also feels entitled to that pension, rightfully so, because they also feel that they have had some support during that marriage in order for the person who has worked to accumulate that, right. that, uh, that pension. Um, however, in mediation, these elements of discomfort can be discussed. And we say to families all the time, you might as well have an uncomfortable conversation during a or in a mediation forum so in a collaborative forum rather than being imposed on you and given no choice with pensions in mediation you can have very creative uh, ways of dealing with it you can leave it intact so you can you know choose not to divide it Uh, we have families who just completely walk away from it and say you know what i understand you keep your pension i keep my rsps or you keep my pet you keep your pension, I keep mine. Uh, We've had families who calculate what's called the family law value of the pension. And then they discuss what they do. If there is, if both parents have, or both parties have two pensions, they discuss what they do with the difference. Or if one person has uh, that pension, they discuss how one may buy out uh, the other person from the pension. So then we talk about, you know, other pieces of the puzzle that may be traded off against that pension. Mm-hmm. So there is a lot of creative ways that you can deal with a pension. Needless to say, it is a divisible asset right. under, under the law. However, you can have a creative discussion to incorporate all the other elements, unique elements. of. Absolutely. You know, Laura says all the time that it it is not the intention of the law that one person is going to be eating steak and the other person is going to be, you know, eating scraps after separation divorce. That's never the intention. And that's not what the law expects either. So if you're afraid about your post separation life and what that means for your retirement, that's something that we can um, talk about. We can help you plan for, and we can really alleviate those concerns in mediation. I'm Eva. And I'm Laura.